GCSE maths proof with consecutive integers in 58 seconds. Let's go. Okay, guys, let's have a look at this. It says prove that the sum of three consecutive integers is always a multiple of three. Now, the first question is going to be how can we write down three consecutive integers? Remember, consecutive integers are going to be integers which come one after another. For example, three, four, and five. To write these in general, what can we do? Well, we're going to call our first integer n. Then the integer after that is going to be n plus one. And the integer after that is going to be n plus two. Now, to show that the sum of these is a multiple of three, what can we do? Well, we're going to add them all together. So we're going to do n plus n plus one plus n plus two. Now, how can we simplify this? If we collect our like terms, we can write this as 3n plus 3. Now, when it comes to showing that this is a multiple of 3, we just need to show that it has a factor of 3. How can we do that? We can factorize it. Pulling out a factor of 3, we can write this as 3 times by n plus 1. That's going to show that the sum of 3 consecutive integers